second with Peter Sinclair. Good evening and welcome to the second semi-final of Mastermind 1987. Last week in the first semi-final we saw a major upset, the kind of upset that can occur in any Mastermind match. The early leader, Michael Dool, had a comfortable but not commanding lead, was pipped at the post by only one point and making it into the final. A very exciting match. And let's hope that tonight's second semi-final will be just as exciting. That's up to the contestants. Let's meet them now. Would contestant number one please take the chair? You are Neil Harvey. You come from Gore, where you are a teacher. Your specialist subject and mastermind is the New Zealand share market since 1970, a period of intense activity, especially in more recent years. Two minutes on the New Zealand share market, starting from now. Name the chairman of Rada Corporation. Oh, uh, Gami. Correct. Which American company had a major stake in Montana Wines when it was listed? Uh, Seagram. Correct. To whom did the CCL Group recently sell its 50% stake in Fortis State Group? CFS. Correct. In 1978, Alan Hawkins was appointed Managing Director of a publicly listed company. Named what? Transvision. Correct. Manufacturers and suppliers of industrial chemicals, Revitex Industries, are based at Penrose. Name their main shareholder. Uh, pass. What was the name of the company which Jardin Corporation used to, get, to gain listing? Tourist Corporation CG. Correct. Where is New Zealand Salmon's head office located? Dunedin. Correct. Name the company which has recently agreed to sell its majority stake in Christchurch Press Limited to Independent News Limited. Pine Golden Guinness. Correct. Who took over Rex Aviation New Zealand Limited in 1973? Briley. No, Dalhoff and King. Former Labour Prime Minister Sir Wallace Rowling and former National Deputy Prime Minister Brian Tallboys have sat simultaneously as directors of three different companies. Name one of them. National Bloodstock. Correct. Who took over Trans Holdings in 1979? Uh, pass. The Kiwi Fruit Wine Company is owned by which listed company? Uh, Lane's Industry. No, Strathmore. Which was the best performing share last year out of Briley Investments, Fletcher Challenge and New Zealand Forest Products? Uh, Briley. No Fletcher Challenge, 136.27. Name one of the major investors in the newly listed Akron Corporation. Chase. No, I'm sorry. No point. Which merchant bank bought a 10.3% stake in Carter Holt Harvey from Equity Corp in April 1986? Uh, pass. Who was the majority shareholder in New Zealand Petroleum? Triton. Correct. Which company did Mace Development merge with in 1985? LB Nathan. You must let me finish the question. Merge with in 1985 to gain a stock exchange listing. LB Nathan. No. Woolworths was a legal entity at that time. Woolworths New Zealand Properties Limited is the correct answer. No point. What is the name of the original listed company which has since become TAG Corporation? You may answer. Spedding. Spedding is correct. You've scored 10 points and you've passed on three. I'll run through those past questions now. Uh, the main shareholder of Revitex Industries based in Penrose is Monsanto Australia who owns 65% of Revitex. Trans Holdings was taken over in 1979 by United Empire Box, UEB, and I'm sure you know that now. And finally, the Merchant Bank, which bought a 10.3% stake in uh, Carter Holt Harvey from Equity Corp in April 1986, was Faye Richwhite. Neil Harvey, we'll see you later in the program. Thank you. <laughs> and now from the New Zealand share market to one of the most Unusual topics I think we've ever had in our 12 years of masterminds. Made it into the semi final. We welcome contestant number two. Please take the chair. <laughs> Your name is Rosalind Pittam. You are a librarian, in fact, the borough librarian in the timber town of Tokoroa. Your specialist subject in this second semi final of Mastermind 1987 is horse pack. Horse pack. That is everything that a horse wears, apart, of course, from its rider. Two minutes on horse pack. Starting from now, what widely used type of spur bears the title of a member of the royal family? The Prince of Wales. Correct. In what way does the genuine New Zealand rug differ from most overseas imitations? It doesn't have a fur single. Correct. A hunting whip, as carried by the master, hunt servants, and other followers, consists of three parts. Stock, thong, and what? Lace. Correct. Name the bit which has rollers set lengthways along the mouthpiece. The magenis. 
That is correct. This device is attached to the bridle between the horse's ears, runs down the front of the face, then divides to fit over the bit on either side. Name it. The Australian Cheetah. Correct. Where would you find a leaping head? On a side saddle. Correct. It's generally accepted that there are three main groups of bits. One of these may never be used for dressage tests. Which one? The Pelham. Correct. What piece of equipment is often used to control a difficult horse for clipping, shoeing, or veterinary treatment? The Twitch. Correct. Give another name for the Australian loose ring cheek snapper. Foremost. Correct. Which is the odd one out? Scoria, Lonsdale, Weymouth, uh, or Bristol? Lonsdale. It's a girth. Correct. What name is given to the brass-mounted brow band used on bridles for horses shown in hand? Clinker. Correct. How does the bridoon rein differ from the bit rein on a double bridley? I mean, I'm sorry, a double bridle. It's wider. Correct. What is the maximum permitted length for any whip carried or used in any jumping event run under FEI rules? Three feet. In centimetres, please. Pass. The, in modern saddles, what type of panel is most commonly used? A continental. Correct. The name balding is associated with a type of girth and with another item of saddlery. What is this term? A gag bit. Correct. In New Zealand, on what race horses is it not permissible to use blinkers? Jumpers. The answer I have is two-year-old. No point. With what do you associate the name Kornikoff? A type of stirabine. Correct. On what type of saddle would you find wings? Saddle. Correct. Seen mostly in the show ring, on what horse would you expect to find a horseshoe bit? In, um, in hand horse, a stallion. A stallion is correct. For what form of pleasure riding is the military saddle most commonly used today? You may answer. Endurance riding. Or horse or pony trekking, long distance riding is correct. You carried your score to 18. You passed on just one. I'll give you the answer to that question now. Uh, the maximum for the length for any whip carried or used under any event run under FEI rules. The answer I have here is uh, 75 centimetres. Rosalind Pittens, we'll see you later in the programme. Thank you. In the first semi-final of Mastermind, we had classical Greek mythology. In the second semi-final, we have Norse mythology. Let's welcome contestant number two. Please take the chair. You are Dr. David Nichols. You are a medical practitioner in Remuera. Your specialty subject is, as I've said, Norse mythology. Two minutes on Norse, Norse mythology, starting from now. What did Odin give in payment for drinking water from the spring of Mimir? One of the giants. Correct. What ship is large enough to contain all the gods, yet folds up to fit in a pouch? Frey's ship, the Gladmere. Correct. How many sea giantess mothers is the god Heimdall said to have? Nine. Correct. To which of the two main groups or races of gods does Hunir belong? The Vestir. No, the Barmir. Loki is tied beneath snakes dripping poison on his upturned face. What brings an end to his punishment? Ragnarok. Correct. After Ragnarok, when the earth rises again from the waters, what bird is seen on the mountains? Tusk. By means of what intermediary does the serpent under the world tree trade insults with the eagle on top? A squirrel. Correct. Magni is the son of Thor and which giantess? John Saxon. Correct. According to Snoddy, who, after being hit on the head with Thor's hammer, inquired mildly if that was a leaf which had dropped on his head? The giant Sprimia. Correct. Where would you be if you were unlucky enough to see the jaws of Achir? Pass. To what activity does the phrase ship of the dwarfs refer? Pass. The noise of a moving cat and the breath of a fish were used in the manufacture of what item? Of the chain to bind Fenris. Correct. What was the outcome of Rig's visit to the farmer and his wife? Um, a pregnancy. Uh, a child is I'll give you the point. Correct. Who says alive or dead the old man's son has been no use to me? Let hell hold what she has. Uh, Loki in the guise of an old woman. Correct. Mistcart has the heart of a mare, but what's he made of? Clay. Correct. Midgard, the world of men, was protected from the giants by a wall made from what? Pass. On the road to hell, name the bridge guarded by Modgud. The bridge of Giol. No, Gyalabru, the resounding bridge. No point. Name a natural phenomenon associated with the bridge Bifrost. The rainbow. Correct. What was the true identity of the old woman who beat Thor in a wrestling match arranged by Utgard Loki? Old age. Correct. What name? I've started, so I'll finish. What name is given to the gate separating the realms of the living and the dead? Hell's Gate. Hell's Gate is correct. You've carried your score to 14. You've passed on four. I'll give you the answers to those questions now. When the earth rises again from the waters after Ragnarok, an eagle is seen on top of the mountain. 
If you were unlucky enough to see the jaws of Achir, you'd be on a ship at sea, because Achir was a sea god who devoured lost ships. The ship of the dwarf refers to the activity of creating poetry. And finally, the wall that protects Midgard, the world of men, is made from the eyebrows of Umir. Dr. David Nichols, we'll see you later in the program. Thank you. I don't believe we've uh, ever had baseball as a topic in Mastermind before, but we do this year, and it's made it into the second semi-final. Here's contestant number four. <laughs> you are Peter Speck. You come from Dunedin, where you are a student at Otago University. Your specialist subject in the second semi-final of Mastermind is USA Major League Baseball from 1901 to 1950. Two minutes on that sport. Starting from now, who was nicknamed the peerless leader? Tinker, Evers, or Chance? Chance. Correct. In 1935, the Major League's first night game was played between which teams? Um, Cincinnati Reds and Boston Braves. No, Philadelphia, no point. In 1927, Babe Ruth hit 28 of his 60 record home runs in Yankee Stadium. In what ballpark did he have his second best result? Um, Sportsman's Park. No, Fenway Park in Boston. Who said the baseline belongs to me? Ty Cobb. Correct. Who took over at first base when Lou Gehrig's career with the New York Yankees ended? Dave Dahlgren. Correct. Whose toe did Earl Averill break in the 1937 All-Star Game? Dickie Dean. Correct. How many hits did Joe DiMaggio collect in setting the Major League consecutive game-hitting record? 56. No, 91. Who were the only American leaguers to hit 26 triples in one season? Mm. Pass. On what date in 1902 did the first Tinker to Evans to Chance double play take place? Pass. Who caught Johnny Vandermeer's back-to-back no-hitters in 1938? Tony Lombardi. Correct. Baseballs with a cork center were put into regular use in the major leagues in what year? 1920. No, 1910. Name the first major leaguer to steal more than 80 bases in a single season. Eddie Collins. Correct. Whose record did Babe Ruth break in 1927 when he hit 60 home runs? His own. Correct. Which was the home team in the first baseball game ever televised on August the 26th, 1939? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Brooklyn Dodgers. Correct. Which pitcher did Babe Ruth hit his first home run off on May the 6th, 1915? Jack Warhop. Correct. Name the two Cleveland pitchers who, in 1941, combined to end Joe DiMaggio's consecutive game-hitting record at 56. Al Smith and Jim Bagby, Jr. Correct. Who committed the only error in the first All-Star game? Pass. Jimmy Collins, manager of the first team to win a World Series, played what position? An outfielder. He played a third base was the answer I had to have. No point. How old was Dazzy Vance when he got his first big league victory for the Brooklyn Dodgers? 31. Correct. Which Hall of Famer founded the New York Giants farm system? You may answer. Branch Rickey? No, Bill Terry. Your score is 11. You've passed on three. Here are the answers to those questions now. The Major League's first night game was played between Cincinnati and Philadelphia. The only, um, I think I gave you the answer that already, the only American leaguers to hit 26 triples in one season were Sam Crawford and Joe Jackson. The first Tinker to Evans to Chance double play took place in 1902, September the 15th was the date I had to have for that one. And the only error in the first All-Star game was committed by Lou Gehrig. Peter Speck, we'll see you later in the program. Thank you. And that's the end of the first round of the second semi-final of Mastermind for 1987. We'll check the scores in just a moment. First, though, let's see what this year's Mastermind will receive. Besides carrying the title New Zealand Mastermind 1987, the winner of this series will be flown to England with a companion and will spend two weeks in London and its picturesque surrounding district. In addition, the winner will take to their home as a reminder of their success the Mastermind Chair, symbol of New Zealand's Battle of the Brains. And now, let's check the scores at this the halfway point of the second semi-final. Here they are. Neil Harvey, 10. Rosalind Pittens, 18. David Nichols, 14. And Peter Speck, 11. At this stage, Rosalind Pittens. But after last week's first semi-final, I'm sure that uh, Mrs. Pittens will not be regarding the result as a foregone conclusion, because now it's my task to test our contestants' general knowledge. Would contestant number one please return to the chair?
Neil Harvey, you come, as I said, from Gore, where you're a teacher at Longford Intermediate School. I'm sure all your pupils will be watching to see how well you do on general knowledge. I understand your interest uh, in the New Zealand share market began in 1970. You have your own extensive files and even dabble just a little in the stock market itself. But now, I must test your general knowledge. Your time starts now. Is this a dagger I see before me? Is a line of which Shakespearean character? I pass. In which village near Jerusalem was the miracle of raising Lazarus from the dead performed? Um, pass. Name the respiratory organ used by aquatic animals to obtain oxygen from water. Pass. Of the major named planets in the solar system, which is closest to Earth? Uh, Venus. Correct. Which river is particularly important in Wagner's ring cycle? Uh, pass. We know the phrase dog in the manger, but in the original fable, what did the dog prevent? Pass. Of the following islands, which is the furthest south? Campbell Island, Antipodes Island, or Snares Island? Uh, Snare Island. No, Campbell. Name the English critic, editor, and novelist who was married to Catherine Mansfield. Pass. Ned Ludd encouraged groups of disgruntled textile workers to smash their machines. What name have these people been given? Luddite. Correct. The Bodleian Library is the principal library at which university? Cambridge. No, Oxford. Big band leader Buddy Rich died recently. What instrument is he famous for playing? Saxophone. No, the drums. Which of Henry VIII's wives has, was the mother of his daughter Mary? No, pass. Name the strait of water between Chile and Tierra del Fuego. Um, pass. In August 1972, General Amin of Uganda expelled some 57,000 people of what ethnic group? Indians. I'll give you the point. Asians in general, but Indians, uh, correct. One point. By what other name was the fictional character Sir Percy Blakely known? Sherlock Holmes. No, the Scarlet Pimpernel. Rudyard Kipling described the British Empire as five nations. Three of them were the old country, Canada, Australia. Name one other. New Zealand. No, India or South Africa. Simon Wierutini is one of New Zealand's top competitors in which sport? Uh, skiing. Correct. Hungarian actor Bela Lugosi became famous in films for his portrayal of which character? Uh, pass. You've carried the score to 14. You've passed on nine. I'll run quickly now through those past questions. Is this a dagger that I see before me as a line uttered memorably by Macbeth? Lazarus was raised from the dead in the little town of Bethany uh, near Jerusalem. And, of course, um, aquatic animals use gills to obtain oxygen from water. The Rhine is the um, river important in Wagner's ring cycle. And dog in the manger refers to the fact that a dog uh, lying in an ox's manger um, wouldn't let the ox near the hay, even though he, the dog, couldn't eat it himself, hence the common, common expression today. Uh, John Middleton Murray was married to Catherine Mansfield. Um, the mother of Mary, Henry VIII's daughter, was first daughter was Catherine of Aragon. Uh, the Strait of Magellan lies between Chile and uh, Tierra del Fuego. Um, and uh, finally, Bela Lugosi is famous for his portrayal of Dracula. Neil Harvey, thank you. <laughs> and now let's welcome back the early leader. With contestant number two, please step forward again. <laughs> Rosalind Pittens, you are the borough librarian of Tokoroa. Your subject was horse tack, and I understand you were formerly our participant in event riding. Nowadays, you just ride a little for pleasure. But let's find out how much you know about everything else. I must test your general knowledge, and your time starts now. Which novel by John Steinbeck was made into a film starring James Dean? The Grapes of Wrath. No, the East of Eden. Between Switzerland and Italy is a mountain which the French call Mount uh, Chervin. Uh, what do we call it? Matterhorn. Correct. The same name is shared by a short petticoat, a famous clipper, and a brand of whiskey. What's the name? Tati Sark. Correct. At which end did Chaucer's pilgrims assemble? Pass. Jewelry was recently auctioned for nearly $90 million in Geneva. To which socialite member of the royal family had the jewels belonged? Pass. Dakar is the capital and largest city of which country? Pass. Name the alkaloid extracted from opium that takes its name from the Greek god of sleep and dreams. Morphine. Correct. Who, in 1914, assassinated Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife at Sarajevo? Pass. After 55 years of marriage, would you celebrate a pearl wedding, a golden, or an emerald? A pearl. No, an emerald. A famous work of moral fiction by C.S. Lewis consists of letters written to a young man named Wormwood. Name the character who writes the letters. Pass. Name New Zealand's Minister of the Arts. Pass. Dylan Thomas's Under Milkwood is often performed on stage, but how was it intended to be performed originally? On the radio. Correct. Name the first black man to win the United States Open Tennis Championship. Pass. Name the last opera Mozart ever wrote. Figaro. No, the magic flute. 
The wife of King George III that bore him 15 children, name her. Pass. What's the name of the painting medium for powdered pigments consisting of egg yolks and water? Tempera. Correct. Pierre Gint, a verse play published in 1857, was written by which playwright? Pass. Name the Italian who developed a system of education based on spontaneity and freedom from restraint which bears her name. Montessori. Correct. Theodor Herzl was responsible for the formation of which nationalistic and religious movement? Pass. You may, you may answer. You've taken your score to 24, and you've passed on 10. We'll run through those past questions now. Chaucer's Pilgrims assembled at the Tabard Inn, and it was the Duchess of Windsor's jewels that fetched $90 million quite recently. The car is the capital of Senegal, and Gavrilo Princip was the man who assassinated the Archduke Franz Ferdinand at Sar Sarajevo. C.S. Lewis uh, wrote uh, the Screwtape Letters. Screwtape was the man who was writing to Wormwood. New Zealand's Minister of the Arts is Peter Tapsell, and Arthur Ashe was the first um, American black man to win the US Open. Uh, Queen Charlotte was the wife of King George III. Pierre Gint was written by Hendrik Ibsen, and Theodor Herzl was uh, responsible for the formation of the movement known as Zionism. Rosalind Pitton, thank you very much. And now here once again is our expert on Norse mythology. Please take the chair. <laughs> Dr. David Nichols, you are, as I said earlier, from Remuera, where you are a medical practitioner. You're interested in history and languages, and also a, a fan, though not, I understand, a fanatic of physical fitness. You've never been to Scandinavia, despite your extensive knowledge of the legends of that part of the world. But now, time for general knowledge. Your time starts now, with which sport is New Zealander Dino Kane professionally associated? Snooker. Correct. Deaf actress uh, Marley Matron won an Oscar for her role in which recent film? Pass. The title given to certain ancient Mediterranean rulers means Great House. What's the title? Pass. What do you call a stellar explosion in which a star becomes much brighter and ejects a shell of gas? A nova. Correct. Which beetle appeared on the cover of the first issue of rock magazine Rolling Stone? Paul McCartney. No, John Lennon. Scientifically, a peach is called Prunus persica. In common terms, what would we call a, a Prunus communis? A plum. No, a pear. Dame Edith Sitwell had two brothers, name either. Pass. The White Nile and the Blue Nile join at which town? Pass. By what common name do we know the parasitic insect Pulex irritan? Flea. Correct. What's the name of New Zealand's Chief Justice? Sir Ronald Davidson. Correct. Founded in India in 1955 by Shiri Shiri Ananda Murti. This religious and socio-political movement spread to the West in the 1970s. Name it. Krishna Murti. No, Ananda Marga. Which Prime Minister of Australia had the nickname the Prefect? Pass. This weapon, first used in action in 1916, was described for security reasons as a water carrier. Name it. A water cannon. No, the tank. Brassai is the professional name of Romanian uh, Jules Halash. In which art form was he successful? Pass. Mrs. Malaprop is famous for her misuse of words. Who created her? Dickens. No, Sheridan. The rivers Irrawaddy, Ganges, Brahmaputra, and Krishna all run into which arm of the Indian Ocean? Uh, Bengal. Correct. According to tradition, she invented the organ. She's patron saint of the blind and patroness of music. Name her. Pass. The author of American classics Tobacco Road and God's Little Acre recently died. Name him. You may answer. Pass. Your score is 19, and you've passed on 8. I'll give you the answers to those questions now. Uh, Mar uh, Mar Marley Martin won an Oscar for her role in Children of the Lesser God. Um, Great House is our translation of uh, the word Pharaoh from those Mediterranean rulers of ancient Egypt. Dame Sitwell had two brothers. They needed Sitwell. They were called Osbert and Sir Cheverell. The White and the Blue Nile join at Khartoum. The Prefect was a nickname for former Australia Prime Minister Malcolm Fraser. And Jules Halash was famous in the field of photography. St. Cecilia, by tradition, invented the organ and is now the patroness of music. And finally, Erskine Caldwell wrote Tobacco Road and God's Little Acre. Dr. David Nichols, thank you. <laughs> and now, finally, we'll ask contestant number four to return to the chair, please. <laughs> Peter Speck, you come from Dunedin, where you are a chemistry student at Otago University. Uh, as some listeners may have guessed, or some viewers may have guessed by your accent, you are originally American, a native of Illinois, but resident here for 13 years. And although such an expert on USA Major League Baseball, you've only ever played backyard baseball yourself. But now we'll find out how much you know about everything else. General knowledge. And your time starts now. What is Dagwood and Blondie's surname? Plumstead. 
Correct. The South Suffolk breed of sheep developed in Canterbury is a cross between a Suffolk and which other breed? Romney. No, the South Down. Name the element whose simplest atom has the symbol H and the atomic number 1. Hydrogen. Correct. Late last year, aboard the Voyager, Dick Rutan and Jenny Yeager became the first aviators to do what? Flew around the world and without refueling. That is correct. Although the island of Greenland was a province of Denmark, it's only 16 kilometers away from what other country? Iceland. No, Canada. Name the British-based comedian who toured New Zealand with a show called Just a Sweet Little Girl from Chakatina. Pamela Stevenson. Correct. Name the river on which the city of Leningrad stands. Volga. No, the neighbor. With which sport is Norwegian Ingrid Christiansen associated? Marathon running. Correct. This word, borrowed from the pictorial arts, has been used in music to describe the works of Debussy. What is the word? Pass. The odd couple and barefoot in the park are plays by which contemporary playwright? Neil Simon. Correct. What name is given to the branch of physics concerned with the mechanical properties of gases? Kinetic. Kinetic, no. Pneumatic. What was the name of the ship that sailed from Port Chalmers in 1882 with New Zealand's first refrigerated cargo of mutton and lamb? Pass. This contemporary American composer incorporates long passages of total silence in his work. Name him. Pass. Name the character from 19th century fiction who went round the world in 80 days. Uh, Phileas Fogg. Correct. In 1729, members of the Holy Club at Oxford University were given a name denoting the methodical way they observed their principles. What was that name? Pass. Dr. Gustav Husak is the political leader of which Eastern European country? Bulgaria. No, Czechoslovakia. Uh, Dr. Timothy Bavadra has recently been elected Prime Minister of which country? Fiji. Correct. Four countries gained independence from Britain in 1947-48. Which one did not then join the Commonwealth? You may answer. South Africa? No, Burma was the answer I had to have. You scored 19, you passed on four. And here are the answers to those questions now. The word borrowed from the graphic arts and often applied to the music of Debussy was Impressionism. The ship that sailed from Port Chalmers with New Zealand's first ship, shipment of lamb and mutton was the Dunedin, the place you live, you may recall it. And John Cage is the American composer who has long uh, intervals of silence in his work. You pay your money and you go and you watch uh, John Gage uh, sit down at the piano and do absolutely nothing. And finally, the Holy Club at Oxford University became known as the Methodists. Peter Speck, thank you. <laughs> it's the end of the match. Let's find out who will fill those two empty seats at next week's final. Here are the scores. Neil Harvey, 14. Rosalind Pittam, 24. David Nichols, 19. And Peter Speck, 19. A clear win to Rosalind Pittam. <laughs> and a tie for second place between Peter Speck and Dr. David Nichols. Uh, under these circumstances, of course, it's the number of passes that count. The contestant with the fewest passes will go on. Peter Speck had seven passes. Dr. David Nichols had 12. Peter Speck will go on into the final. Well, uh, congratulations to our two new finalists, our commiserations as always to those who didn't make it, and our thanks to you for watching. See you for what I hope will be a most exciting final next week. Till then, from all of us on Mastermind, good night. Wednesday at 10. Mary Fisher. Beware the she-devil. One day, you will see malevolence beyond your wildest imagining. Mrs. Fisher. I know your daughter, Mary. Mm. I tried to pretend that other people matter, but really the only person in the world who exists for me is you. Mm. A romantic dream about to be shattered. The life and loves of a she-devil continues Wednesday at 10 on 1.